hey what's up guys it's me alpha papa novi and welcome back to the channel now before the video i already recorded this video i already edited it but before the video begins or before you guys start watching it i do gotta give you guys a, a warning and an apology the footage you guys are watching i already i had already uploaded but i forgot to go to um video manager and by the time i went to video manager the video had been up three days and it was blocked in some countries and the only reason that i found out was because some of my subscribers pn me and told me that my, one of my videos they couldn't view it because it was blocked in their country and i really do apologize because of that another thing guys i was going to address patrick's brandon's comment but i totally forgot because i went into this rant of this video is really good this video is really really good so yeah patrick brandon i'm really sorry but i will address your comment on my next video um because as you guys know it i'm gonna make a lot a lot a lot more videos like this a lot more videos coming up like this so stay tuned and enjoy the video guys i will see you guys on the next one bye what is up guys it's me alpha papa novi and welcome back to the channel it's a pleasure to have you guys on board and let's get right into the video let's waste no time guys um the first thing that we're going to be talking about today is about how the game was released and how the developers have a lot to do and this is why the game is in this stage and there's a lot of popular uploaders that don't play the game there's a lot of popular uploaders that already stopped. There's a lot of popular live streamers that don't stream this game anymore. They don't even play it because of the way that the developers released this game. This game was not broken, by the way, when it was released. If you believe that this game was broken when it was released because of all the OP things it has, um, you gotta be naive because it wasn't broken. This is what happened when this game was released. Uh, from software or the developers, wh the PR, whoever does the PR, whoever the suits are, whoever um those are the pr for dark souls where did the pr they they are the ones to blame for all this that happened with the game okay the first thing that happened was come on the op things how can a developer not know that all this stuff is op how can the moonlight gray sword gets released how come we get the game and we're able to buff the moonlight gray sword how do we get the game in the all sound ring does freaking 500 damage on each bomb and two explosion it did up to 1400 damage i mean i have videos to prove this i have videos on my channel where i have killed gankers that they've been spamming me that the all sound ring did like 15 1800 damage on them how can they not know that this is really unbalanced i mean the game goes through so many testing right a lot of people test the game i mean every single weapon has to go through testing has to pass this testing it's not just like oh we made the game and we didn't balance anything we didn't test anything we don't know what's op and what's not op you guys want to know why they release all these op things for casuals because this game is aimed for casuals i don't care what you say this game is for casuals Talk to me when you go play Dark Souls 1 with no patches. Download Dark Souls 1 for the PC. Well, I guess if you download Dark Souls 1 for the PC, it automatically brings all the patches. Buy it for the PS3 or the Xbox and do not update. Do not get any of the, all the patches that they release. And then talk to me. Okay, because Dark Souls 2, towards the end, towards the end of Dark Souls 2, you were playing a freaking patch game. Like, it was every a lot of stuff got patched in Dark Souls 1. A lot of the stuff. What they did in this game is since a lot of they knew that a lot of people was gonna buy this game and they were targeting a lot of casuals or like a lot of scrubs from Call of Duty. I mean I'm not trying to offend you if you play Call of Duty. Hey, more power to you. I used to play Call of Duty a lot too. Every day I used to be pretty good. I used to be a monster at Call of Duty actually. I have videos too to prove that. Um Okay, so they knew that all this stuff is broken. The Moonlight Gracer, you can buff it. You can buff the Moonlight Gracer. It, it, okay, the Moonlight Gracer swing it, it swinged faster than a Claymore. You could buff it. And then you had all these channels. Okay, so let's get over the whole OP things. It wasn't that the game was broken. It wasn't none of that. It was that they knew that all this stuff was broken. Not broken. That they knew all this stuff was OP. They just left it for the casuals. So they can have an easier time beating the game. The first the first nerf. What did the first nerf did? The first patch. They nerfed two bosses because people were complaining because oh my god, it's so hard. I beat the game in normal game and in new game plus. Okay, I only beat it once in New Game Plus. Yes, the whole center was a freaking pain in the nuts, but I beat it. I beat the game, okay? I I, I somehow beat the whole, the whole center. I mean, I summoned Phantoms, but I beat it. Hey, I didn't need... The game didn't need to be nerfed, but what happened? A lot of people were complaining. So the first thing they received the nerfs was two bosses and other stuff. 
Okay, that was the first thing they received a nerf. Because, oh my god, the old giant or the first giant, the first boss that you fight. Oh my, so OP. Like, he stomps on you and you die. You know that guy never killed me, not even once? The first boss that you fight, he didn't even kill me once. Not even once. And I beat the game like five times, he didn't even kill me once. So that goes to show there, that that should say something. It's, it's just like, the way they advertise the game the way the game came out they left all these op things they left all these op things so all these casual people can go through the game really easy it's not that the game was broken it's not that the game was gonna get they already knew they already knew so what they okay so it's simple right you're a developer you want a lot of people to play your game but you don't want people to struggle through the game and you also want to keep your old fan base from your old game because the game is known to have like a hard difficult or it's really hard and then everybody wants to brag hey i played dark souls dude hey i played dark souls i remember when the first dark souls came out there was you know, not a lot of people were playing it there was not a lot of there wasn't a lot of advertisement it was just pure fun it was just pure enjoyment and i have noticed now that all these new players have now all these new players are even they're, they're interfering with pve because before pve and i have made videos on the past on this day pve and pvp are two different communities but i'm not going to get into that right now but even Rui can said i'm pretty sure you guys know who Rui can is even Rui can said that he can Rui can only plays pve by the way he doesn't play no pvp he said that he can't deal with this minority people talking shit to him on the comments saying how much of a noob he is because he plays a certain play style like come on dude they, he even doesn't even want to play the game because of people aggravating him on the comments saying that he's a noob saying that he's using an overpowered weapon saying this and that so the, the developers they knew they knew that the game had a lot of op stuff they knew that all this stuff was going to get patched they just wanted it the casual to beat the game and, and get on okay now let's get into another thing all these people uploading dark souls pvp that didn't know shit about the pvp mechanics all these people with this fucking smelter demon butt facing looking bills all these people in full habbles all, all that did not help the pvp community everybody that came from dark souls one a lot of my friends that came from dark souls one hey i had a, my friends list everybody played dark souls everybody played dark souls one because that's the only game i played so all the friends that i had were from dark souls one and the name i made that name when i used to play dark souls like i didn't play any other games so every single person that added me in that list was from dark souls if i check that list right now there's nobody playing dark souls like probably one or two people and not the old hardcore fans of dark souls one they used to sit there and watch me live stream 24 hours no why because all these people they were trying to make a fast buck they were trying to make a fast dollar what did they did oh yeah pvp is pretty popular on the streams let's fucking ruin that you know let's just ruin it let's completely it, ruin it let me be a smelter demon with a fucking butt, butt freaking face whatever butthole face in the, in the fucking havel another thing the soul level is okay at 150 but who in the right mind decided that it was okay to go to bracket 15 million only because in 15 million everybody can invade everybody but we can't oh my god and i know who made this decision i just don't want to fucking bring salt to my channel i just don't want to bring salt because i already have a strike for calling people out and i don't want to get another one because if i get another one and then another one then my account gets terminated so we're not going to go there but i know exactly who decided the soul bracket that people were going to pvp on and i know exactly uh, who decided at what soul level people were going to pvp on the soul level is okay but the soul bracket do you guys know how many souls it takes to get to soul level 150 and i have i have counted this i have done it myself it takes around 1,700,000 souls that's how many souls it takes to get to soul level 150 why in the world would you go to soul memory 5 million 10 million 15 millions why 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 would you do it there's mega mule there's mega mule there's the trainer that you can and on the pc you don't even need the trainer because you can make your bill and you can reload your data okay once you get to okay put it that everybody has a soul uh, a soul memory two million i'm gonna say two million because i pvp a soul memory two million everybody's a soul memory two million right once you're a two million and a half and you guys can't get each other simple you reload your data in the ps3 simple you freaking use mega mule you use a uh, mega mule on the on the xbox i don't know what they use because i never play on the x but you can use an editor for the xbox i don't know 
simple you freaking you you edit your stats and you put yourself on so on so memory two million again it's that simple whoever decided and now we already everybody knows who it is the so memory 15 million was the bracket that everybody needs to be at it's a fucking idiot dude like seriously it's a moron and this person that decided this is it, a spammer he's a spammer with dark moon blade and wrath of the gods like he's put dark moon blade on his fucking because that's all he uses and that's the person that decided for everybody a noob a noob a noob for dark souls one that used to use wrath of the gods and dark moon blade decided that the soul bracket was going to be 15 million the soul memory is okay okay I, I can deal with that okay the soul memory cool dude so so level 150 okay whatever who cares so level 150 okay but soul bracket why 15 million so everybody can be unfair and make up overpowered bill and be running around like a havel everybody's running around as a havel with avalanche with freaking dosantier spear come on dude common sense okay only because of 15 million soul memory we can invade everybody or you can invade anybody after that bracket that doesn't mean that we should go there that was a dumbest decision ever that was a bad idea no you should have never uh, who listens to this guy though who listens to this r1 spammer with dark moon blade who who why like why do we let a noob decide for everybody that has some skills why like i just want to understand why i don't know guys let me know in the comments why did we let a noob deciding what soul bracket we were going to pvp on i mean i never went to 50 million that's just retarded i'm not going to be fighting full howls anyways guys take care and i'll see you guys on the next one bye